so this is the bed video I hope it helps with yours this is our beautiful bed here my favorite spot because Jen loves <laughs> sleep love a lion <laughs> got our map of European now just finishing it off this is where we hang our fan to keep us cool and obviously got our TV and it has actually been obviously used it for how long been traveling now 10 weeks 10 weeks. weeks and it is actually very comfortable so four inch memory foam is a thumbs up from us and the way that we've constructed it, obviously the wood gives it a little bit give as well. And I would recommend the the mattress, the stuff that you put underneath to keep the condensation at bay as well. So check it out. Not gonna do an outro, so like, subscribe, show us a bit of support, follow our social media, and we'll see you in the next video, peeps. Bye. Right, it's just gonna quickly show you fitting the bed brackets. I've seen a few videos, people putting riv nuts in, putting big fixings in, and there's, there's really not too much need in doing that. This is how I'm gonna go about it. These are aluminium brackets. They are 60 millimeters by 60 millimeters, and they are 1500 long. So I've got one for either side of the van. Basically, I've just measured in 50 millimeters from the end, drilled a three millimeter hole, and then at 350 intervals, so they equally spaced, I've just fixed the, them into the metal work with some small stealth tapping screws, what I used to, for other jobs on the van. These are, what size are that? 32 millimeter zinc plated drywall screws and just a decent sized washer to hold that in so yeah that's plenty strong and i haven't even got the end screws in so No
So I'm just drilling these buttons in. They are 34 millimeters by 50. Works out at 45. Turn that radio uh, really on for the same rib. Just press the power button. So just drilling the M8 bolt holes with uh, 8.5 mil drill a bit. I've drilled through the button here in both directions in case you want to flip it and make it a little bit more rigid. But I think we're going to be all right with them facing this way. I've got a bit of giving them when they're by themselves. But once we lay the six mil ply over the top of here, that should distribute the weight a bit better. So basically 8.5 mil hole, is M8 bolt with a locking nut on either, sorry, a locking washer on either side and a nylock nut. So I already had a load of these bolts. You can see they're a little bit too long, so obviously measure up for the size that you want. Whether I'll grind the ends of the bolts off there or not, I don't know, but. That's all the bed lats in, so just going to fix this last lat up and then line this with 6 mil ply and then in positions I'm just going to measure up and use a hole saw just to cut out some circles for the mattress to be able to breathe from the bottom. So let's do that now. Smile. So I've just cut this ply. 6mm applied a width and sat it in the van and then went on the underside, scribed a line all the way along the buttons and then in the middle of these I'm going to use a hole saw to cut out holes at equal intervals in between and then I've just marked the centre of the bolt holes with the square and scribed a line all the way across the edge and in the middle of the button and in the middle of this line I'm going to a little bit bigger of a fast bit and I'm just going to put a fast bit hole so the bolt head comes up through the ply as well and this sits nice and flush to the steel member so get them drilled now and then we'll get this back in the van and fix it in position with some small wood screws quick one on the bed obviously installed the six millimeter plywood and drilled the holes in but I don't want <coughs> condensation getting around our foam mattress so I've seen a few people using this stuff to basically uh, got loads of little micro springs in between these two layers here and this stops any condensation underneath your mattress and obviously lets the air flow through the underside of the mattress quite well. Should also give us a little bit of give in the foam mattress as the wood's obviously quite a hard surface. So it'll be this, then the foam, four inch foam, and then obviously our sheet covers. So basically just the, what I ordered is the correct width for the bed. And I've just put it up the sides here a little bit. And then I'm going to do the same at this side, cut along, and then I can get the mattress back in here. And that's pretty much it for the bed, so should be nice and comfortable. We'll get a test of it in a few weeks' time when we head over to clear the reservoir to give the van a test for the first time. So let's get this job done and whatever else we've got left to do, and then we can actually use this thing.
So that is the mattress in. Still needs a little bit of trimming around the back corners here. But this is when stuff that took forever and a day to do, all them little extra bits come in to play as these extra little cubby holes. Once I've got my cushion, my pillow, now I can lie out nice and straight in bed. And if it had been, them hadn't have been there, well then I cannot lie straight in bed. So five foot eleven I am. So worth the extra work. side to side but four inch memory foam mattress that brings us up to the recesses there and the test will be on an overnight sleep but it seems pretty comfortable it seems pretty comfortable for for what it is and obviously the lats that I put in then I've got a bit of give in the wood so it's not absolutely rigid bed so yeah we'll see what it's like we, we have a sleep but it's starting to come together now people yeah 